Hey guys, uh, Rami here with the third stimulus check update and stimulus package update. I hope you guys have a great Friday and an amazing weekend coming up. As you know, today is a big day because the budget committee in the House is finalizing the stimulus package to be voted on next week. And Steny Hoyer, the majority leader in the House, said that they were going to vote on it in next week. So this is big news. But in today's video, I want to share with you what Janet Yellen, the Secretary of Treasury, just said about the interest rates, about inflation, about the stimulus package, and the need for a $1.9 trillion package, nothing smaller, even though we have some good numbers in sales and the House housing market and some other things. So this is a very important interview and we don't hear from her that often. So I want to share that with you uh, right now and I'll add commentary uh, as usual. Let's listen in. Exclusive interview. I started by asking her for an update on where the stimulus package stands right now. Members of Congress are dealing with it. The um, first steps uh, toward reconciliation have been passed a budget resolution. Um, so we're hoping to see progress over the next couple of weeks um, in enacting that package into law. Uh, President Biden has had uh, discussions uh, with uh, members of Congress on both sides of the aisle, would ideally like to see a bipartisan support for a package that we think is really what we need to deal with the pandemic and to get beyond it. Get our They're still talking about this um, bipartisan stuff. I really don't see this as being bipartisan at all. It even seems like they're not listening to anything or any offers by the Republicans. The Democrats are just going full steam ahead with the budget recon, which is not a very bipartisan way of passing a stimulus package. So I don't really know why they keep using a bipartisan, but what is going to be interesting for me is to see if there's going to be any Republican support when this is actually finalized and done in uh, the House and in the Senate, because in the House, it passes along party lines. And in the Senate, they're looking to get the 50 Democrats and uh, the 51st vote by the Vice President Kamala Harris to uh, have it pass. I'm really, really curious to see if Republicans are going to support it, any of them, because I'm sure this, if they didn't support it at all, this will hurt them in 2022 in uh, the elections, because how can you vote for someone who didn't support $1,400 checks, didn't support $400 for unemployment, didn't support uh, $3,000 to $3,600 in child tax credits? So there's going to be a lot in, at stake here for Republicans. I'm really, really interested to see next week if there's going to be any Republicans that are going to vote for this. Even the ones you know who support a stimulus check, maybe they don't support a $1.9 trillion deal, but when they're faced with a vote for this specific deal, the $1.9 trillion, will they say yes or will they say no? I'm very interested to see that. So we're gonna keep an eye on that next week. Let's continue economy back on its feet and help all the people who've been so badly harmed um, by the pandemic and the economic havoc it's um, caused. Well, one question I think that's still out there is whether we need $1.9 trillion of stimulus. We just had a very strong retail sales report. You've got sectors of the economy like manufacturing and housing that are back to pre-pandemic levels, if not higher, the market at a record high. Is that an economy that screams $2 trillion needed in stimulus? Well, I think it does. Um, we have an unemployment rate that, if um, properly measured in some sense, is really close to 10 percent. In addition to um, over 9 million people unemployed, we have 4 million who have dropped out of the labor force, another 2 million who have seen um, reduced hours. So we're digging out of a deep hole. Um, last year was the worst year for economic growth since World War II. And the Congressional Budget Office projection recently showed it would take until 2024 in their baseline case to get back to full employment without a package like this. So um, we think it's very important to have a big package addresses the pain this has caused, 15 million Americans behind on their rent, 24 million adults and 12 million children who don't have enough to eat, small businesses failing. Um, I, you know, I think the price of doing too little is um, much higher than the price of doing something big. 
I, we think that the benefits will far outweigh the costs in the longer run. So yeah, this is something we talked about many, many times that it's right. The price of doing too little is higher than doing something big. They have to help now and they need a large package now to help bring this economy up again faster and quicker and better. And she said they, they estimated that the unemployment can, the rates can go down by 2024. But with this package, she said before, she estimates that we can go back to almost normal unemployment by the end of this year or maybe in 2022. So this is a huge improvement with a stimulus package like this. And also the comparison to how the market is doing and the stock market is at you know all time highs and all that. Again, it's a K-shape recovery. The rich and the people who have been okay, who are still working, who got stimulus checks and are investing it, those people are going up. But the bottom, people who are in retail, restaurants, small businesses, all these people are suffering still. And it took the idea of the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer to a whole other level, this pandemic. And this is why we do need another big package to help those people who are in need right now. She said 15 million people are behind on rent. What happens to them? They need help to pay rent. People need help to feed their children. People need help to put food on the table. So in terms of needing another $1.9 trillion deal, I think we really, really do. And everyone now is on board, at least on the Democrat side and the Treasury Secretary. And we'll see what she says about inflation, you know, because a lot of people are saying, by the time we spend this $2 trillion, that's about $6 trillion, if not more, in the last year. That's a lot of printing of money. So. Let's continue with the interview. Even if it does cause sustained higher inflation, possible overheating of the economy, we're seeing expectations rise. Commodity markets are really heating up. Well, inflation has been very low for over a decade. And, um, you know, it, it's a risk, but it's a risk that the Federal Reserve and others have tools to address, the greater risk is of scarring of people having this pandemic take a permanent lifelong toll on their lives and livelihoods. Where are you on, on stimulus checks and particularly on some of the concerns and criticisms around them that they go to people who are earning a paycheck and, and might not need them for people who are going to, to use those stimulus checks to trade stocks. How do you respond to some of those concerns? Well, um, President Biden has discussed the checks with um, Republicans and members of Congress. Um, he wants to make sure that they're appropriately targeted so they go to people in need, um, you know, not to very high income people who don't need it, but, um, you know, there's so so much pain in this economy. I think these checks really will provide um, relief and they'll help jumpstart our, our economy, giving people money to spend when we can get out again uh, and go back to our former lives. So, um, you know, there are a lot of families that are operating on the margin and I think these checks will really help them. I agree. These checks will really, really help everybody. And they did reduce it. I mean, now the cutoff is at completely $100,000, nothing over that for individuals. So if you make $75,000 or less, you get the full check and it phases out up to $100,000 and then it completely cuts off anything over $100,000. You don't get anything for individuals. For couples married uh, filing jointly, it's up to $150,000 to get the full check. Anything over that, it phases out up to $200,000 and then it completely cuts off. So it is kind of targeted in that way. I mean, I'm sure people who are making a family, you know, making $200,000 and still working, getting a large check before they have, you know, four kids or whatever, it is what it is, but they need to do something. And this is the only way it seems like they can do it. Um, easy uh, formula, like the last time, they just changed the cutoff and be done with it and send the money. So I'm really optimistic for next week. It will be very interesting to watch what happens in the House. The vote is going to happen next week in the House, and then they send it over to the Senate. We'll see uh, what Senator Chuck Schumer is going to do, if he's going to be able to avoid the committee votes and go straight to a vote on the floor with the whole package, as is with the minimum wage in it. Joe Manchin seems to be warming up to the idea of, the, of increasing the minimum wage to $15. I haven't heard anything about Kristen Cinema, but 
if they both agree to that and they vote on the package as is, we might get something very, very quickly here in the first couple of weeks of March, and then the checks will go out about a week after that. So that's all I have for you in today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you all. Please hit the like button on the video, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. Also, make sure to check the links in the description for the Yada Savings account. When you open an account using the link below and deposit as little as $25, you can earn 100 tickets for a chance to win up to $10 million. There's also the link for the Weeble investment, deposit $100. You get free stock that can be worth up to $1,600. Thank you again so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.